Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to explain the experiment one of physics one freely falling object. So what is the objective of today's experiment? This experiment objective is to find the acceleration due to gravity g value by using free falling body. Okay. So for our calculation of g we are going to use this equation. So the main equation will be given in your paper. By using this equation, you are going to find the value of g. So you have to rearrange. If you rearrange this equation, you will get g, which is equal to 2 multiplied by y divided by t square. So this y over t square, you have to draw the graph from the table. And the schematic diagram of the first experiment is given here. Let us see what are the components we are going to use in this experiment. We have a stand and we have a release clip and in between this clip you have to fix the ball and here you have two sensor, sensor 1 will be here, sensor 2 will be here and these two will be connected with a timer box. So when you take the ball, when you fix it here and once you draw, the time from this point to this point will be calculated by the timer box. That means at certain specific height you have to fix the clamp and from this point you have to drop the ball at this height how much time the ball will take to reach this point. Clear? So let us we see the table. So you have to fill this table and I gave the height different height here. So better we can just work out from 0 0.7 to 0 0.2 meter. So First, you have to fix this 0 0.7 because 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 I am not going to give in this paper. So, better we consider from 0 0.7. So, first you have to fix 0 0.7 meter here and then you have to find the time 1, time 2, time 3 from the timer box and then you have to fill the table. So, now what I am going to do, I am going to explain how to take the value of T1, T2, T3 for the height 0 0.7 meter. Let us we see the apparatus here. So this is your apparatus. This is your stand and we have a clip and this is your releasing clip. If you just see you have to fix this ball in between this clip and here we have a sensor and this will be connected with a landing pad or timing pad and both are connected with the timer box. Clear? So in the timer box, you have to give some program. So what program you are going to fix here? First, you have to select the measurements. So what measurement today we are going to find? We are going to find the time. So if you press this red color button one time, you will get time mode. And then you have to choose the second button, which is blue in color. And here, you have to select the stopwatch option. So five times you have to press. If you press five times, stopwatch will be appear here. You can see here, first time one gate, second time if you press fence, third time it is two gates, fourth time is the pendulum, fifth time is the stopwatch. So we have to use time and stopwatch. And the last button, the black color, you have to use for start as well as stop. If you press one time, you can see the star will appear on the screen. So when you press this time, one first time, the star indicates the apparatus is ready to take the reading. So now what you have to do, once you fix the star, you have to take this ball and you have to fix in this releasing cap. So before that, the most important thing, it's a height. You can see what is our height? It is 0 0.7. So you have to take your meter scale and you have to fix the height from the pad to the center of the hole of the clip. You can see here, there is one hole. So you have to fix the height from the pad to the hole. From the pad to the hole. You have to fix 0 0.7 meter, which is nothing but 70 centimeter. Understand? Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ball. This is our object. So I have to place this ball here and I have to press this star. Now once you press the star, sometimes it is more sensitive. So please my dear, you have to 
fix this star at least two or three times so now you can see so when i just drop the ball the time is given as 0.4015 so now what you have to do you can see this table i drop the ball from 0.7 meter and the timer gives you the value of 0.4015 so this is our first trial so i have to repeat the same trial twice a time t2 and t3 so i am going to repeat another time which is nothing but our t2 you can just have a look here i fix the ball here again i have to press the star and i have to drop so now the time is wrong i have to press it one more time i kept the ball i press the star i drop now you can see previously we got 0.4015 now our time is very closer to that so i am going to write this value 0.3924 this is my second trial you can see both are very closer to each other that means 0 0.40 0 0.39 is not a matter okay so i have to repeat one more time which is nothing but our t3 one more time is good value you can see 0. 3965 0 0.3965 I'm going to write it here sorry I have to write it in 0 0.7 so 0 0.4015 0 0.3924 and the last value is 0 0.3965 0 0.3965 once you finish this you have to take the average how you can find the average t1 plus t2 plus t3 divide by 3 you have to write the value here once you get this answer you have to square this write the value understand so likewise what you have to do you have to change the height so we finish the data for 0 0.7 meter and once you complete for 0 0.7 you have to fix the stand to 0 0.6 meter and you have to take three times reading for t1 t2 t3 and you have to take the average you have to squaring so likewise you have to repeat this experiment for different height clear once you finish this table you have to draw the graph for what you are going to draw the graph y versus t square that means y will comes in your y axis and t square will comes in your x axis that means after you complete the table all these y value comes in your y axis and all this t square value comes in your x axis so you know how to draw the graph you have to draw the graph and then you have to calculate the graph with the slope value from the graph so generally the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is exactly equal to y over t square so you have to draw the graph taking y value in y axis and its unit is meter and then t square value in x axis second square fix the point connect the points with a straight line by using your ruler calculate the slope okay so now my slope is y over x am i right generally the formula for the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in general it says y over x so in y axis what we take y value in x axis what we took we took t square so y over t square is my slope answer and the unit for y is meter and the unit for t square is second square so you will get the slope value after you finish the slope value because y over t square is our slope now you have to come back to the equation this is our equation if you just see the equation g which is equal to 2 multiplied by y over t square this y over t square is your slope therefore g which is equal to 2 multiplied by slope when you take the value of slope when you substitute the value here you will get the answer for the first experiment understood clear my dear so use this g value and 
you have to calculate the error percentage also. The actual value of the G is 9.81, but you will get one equal one value here after you substituting the slope value. So this is your experiment answer, and the actual value of the G value is 9.81. When you substitute the value here, you will get the error percentage. Generally, the error percentage is between 1 to 20 percentage. Clear? So the error percentage between 1 to 20 percent is acceptable. Clear? So please, my dear, in this way, you have to finish this experiment and you have to submit the paper through Blackboard. Thank you.